My uh, name is Amelia Solomon. I'm a writer and a producer based in Los Angeles. I write uh, dark comedy, web series, short films, and features, and I just finished a project with... Hi, I'm Matt. Thank you. And I live in Los Angeles, California, and uh, I write short films, sitcoms, um, and then we just finished yeah, a, a comedic web series. Our project is Final Call. It's about Hannah Lee a depressed female dentist whose recent attempt to commit suicide was stymied by her selfish circle of friends. And she soon finds herself uh, counseling others by working at a suicide hotline, which strangely, given her not very enthusiastic demeanor, she excels at. Hannah didn't really have a chance to think about what she wanted to be because her parents always wanted her to get into some kind of doctoral field, and so she ended up being a dentist. Um, and she's from a Chinese American family and she's got a lot of pressure um, to basically do one thing and she hasn't even thought a lot for herself and so she finds herself an adult and not really happy with things and starting to examine why she might not be happy with these things. Well there's uh, Lindsay Friedman who is Hannah's best friend. They both had like kind of sardonic personalities, borderline pessimists, but that's how they survived. And uh, now strangely Lindsay finds herself married with three kids and she's kind of embarrassed that she's so content and happy with it and it's kind of awkward for the two friends because hannah still is kind of sarcastic and malcontent and then there's nick leon who's actually her ex-boyfriend he's a cosmetic dentist that she always had amazing chemistry with hmm. and he's a narcissistic prick so she's always dealing with his needy personality and getting sucked back into his wow. drama her dental hygienist is um Little John's sunning buffalo. He is gay and he's always having a uh, very tumultuous time dating and so she's kind of his shoulder to cry on. He also was three-time Tri-County runner-up at the dental assistant bodybuilding competition so he stayed in good shape and he also wears nicely tailored scrubs. I guess we, I guess we can talk about um, Matilda McCrae. Matilda McCrae. Can you tell about Matilda McCrae? Matilda McCrae, who actually ends up being Hannah's boss at the suicide hotline while she starts working. Matilda is kind of a very pious Christian woman who's completely optimistic and counsels people with love. Oh, yeah, I think Matilda is so upbeat that a lot of the depressed people kind of don't trust her because they have such an opposite personality. Well, the tone is definitely it's a dark comedy, kind of similar to Better Things, mm -hmm. Lee Bag, and Smilk. So it's just definitely uh, edgy and, and dark. You don't really hold anything back. The project is set in San Francisco. When the story opens, um, we learn that uh, the prior year she had decided to make a New Year's resolution that she had one year to get happy or die trying the New Year's Eve the following year and she's still miserable so she makes a plan that she's gonna jump off the Golden Gate Bridge but unfortunately the day she plans to do that her plans keep getting interrupted by different people in her life mm. um, and then in a strange twist of fate she ends up getting ushered into the suicide hotline call accidentally. For myself I've experienced deep depression or with attempted suicides and there's not many shows that really talk about depression and suicide or if they do it's much more serious and more mm. kind of like a warning against it so i think it's a taboo topic but a lot of people deal with this so i think that a lot of people out there could actually relate to this and um it's about time there's probably a show that actually yeah. deals with it also in a comical manner so yeah i haven't gotten especially suicidal um i just just live in my depression he's less dramatic than me i guess less dramatic but i think a lot of people deal with depression and sadness with kind of sarcastic or sardonic humor and so I think it's a good fit for this show. Talking about someone dealing with being depressed I'm, I think shows other people that sometimes people get depressed and mm -hmm. you work through it and hopefully we show that there's a way out of it and hopefully sometimes things get better mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's good to see that. And also I have to say what kind of drew me into the idea that Hannah Lee works at a suicide hotline prevention as ridiculous as that might sound when I was Getting out of one of my questions, I had a, a close friend that had a really bad moment, called me suicidal, and I had to stay on the phone with her for like 20 hours straight. And I was just like so happy to help her. And I felt I could connect with her so easily because I got it and I had also lived what she was experiencing. I think people think um, someone that should help a suicidal person should have their shit together and be a really stable person. But what's interesting to me is I think the only people that can really understand it are those that have lived it as well. We don't think there are that many shows yet with uh, Asian American female protagonists. Um, there are shows with uh, female loser type characters, but obviously they're all white women, so we thought it would be more interesting to explore someone that's Asian American, also because of the societal and cultural pressures that are placed on a person like that as far as fulfilling uh, a successful doctor or dentist role. Mm -hmm. so we just finished our web series about a group of writers in a diversity program. That stars um, Enrico Cole and Tony, who was in uh, NBC's Just Shoot Me, and Veronica Mars on the film Galaxy Quest. That's it. That's all there is to say.